Hello and welcome back. In this video we will be looking at append in Power Query. The next video will cover merge. Append can be best defined as stacking similar tables on top of each other, provided the column names have to match. If there is a column mismatch, it will still keep that column, but the values will appear empty for the table which does not have that column. To make things clearer, I already have our sample file open. Let's quickly review it before appending. The file has two tabs, data1 and data2. Both have similar columns with the exception of one column being extra in data2, highlighted in yellow. So this column high-low difference is extra in data2, but this is not available in data1. Let's jump to our blank Excel file, open up our query editor and load data for our sample file. All right, so we will load both sheets for that. Let's click on select multiple items and select both sheets from here. Click on transform data. All right, so we can see here that the headers have not been promoted for both tables or queries. Not sure why. So let's do that. Now we either append one table to an existing table or append and create a new table, which is the preferred way. So let's click on data one, click on append queries and click on the drop down icon here. First, we will try on append queries. And this is asking us that Either we need to append two tables or three or more tables. So this second option is useful when you have multiple tables or more than two tables. Since we only have two tables, we are going to keep this selected. And now it's asking us what table you want this to append to. So click on drop down and here it says data one is the current table. We are standing on this table. And data two is a table you can append with this. Click on OK. And here you go. We see that it has successfully appended the two tables and we can see that this column has flown here as well and data one did not have this column so its values are being appearing as null. Now let's test our other option. For that we will create a duplicate table and append the three tables together. So now we have appended our data successfully. I am going to remove this step. I am going to test the other option where it says append as new query. So we get a similar box. It says first table data one, second table data two. Click on OK and we see that it has created a new query which says append one and it has kept the other two queries as it is data one data two just in case we need to change anything in them so i'm going to move the append one to new group called appended underscore queries to keep things organized so to right click on it move to group new group and i'm going to say appended underscore queries click on ok and this organize our data a bit now let's test the other option where you can append more than two tables so for that we will duplicate one of our table to create three tables so we can append them together so i right click on data 2 click duplicate and rename it to data 3. Let's modify the dates for data three a bit so they are different from the other two data tables so for that i'm going to convert the date column to integer and go to transform tab click on standard add and let's say we want to add 10 days to each of these days so keep in mind that this is still an excel date and excel stores the date as as a serial value okay so we added 10 days to this now let's convert this back to date format and you can see the date has been changed so for example if i navigate to this step before it is 19 and the last date is 119 and now it's 119 and 129 so we have successfully changed the date and added 10 days to each date now let's click on data one click on append queries click on append queries as new and now we will select the three or more table options because now we want to append data one two and three so now we see two sections the left side says available tables and the right side says table to append in tables to append we will put all the tables we need appended so we see data one already there so let's move data two and three in there as well so far so good click on ok and let's move this to appended queries group as well now we can see that the three tables have been appended but we don't have a built-in way to pull the table name as well after appending so we're not really sure what data is coming from what table so one way is to add a custom column in each table with table name so let's do that i'm going to quickly add data source column in each of the three queries now that's done let's go to our appended query append to and we can see that the new newly created column has flown into our appended query from data source and from here you can filter and see what data is coming from what table so as discussed in, in the beginning our data one did not have this column so you can see that the column is still appearing but it does not have any values in it so power query has by default assigned it null values all right so that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed the video and learned something new and if you did please like and subscribe and i will see you next time thank you